first log on to wustl.ilabsolutions.com. Log in using your Wustl key credentials. Click List All Cores on the left and choose CCIR Core. Click on the Projects tab. Click on the blue Initiate a New Project Request button on the right. Fill in the project title and under Brief Project Title, put the Harpo number. Type in the first few letters of the primary investigator's last name. Enter fund number and financial sponsor. Select the scanner that you'll be using and any additional services that are requested. Select whether the study is industry or federally funded. Type your lab's four-digit department number. Enter all team members that will be working with this project. This includes any schedulers or billing personnel. Fill out the project details forms. Note that the red star indicates required field. When finished, be sure to click the green Save Form button. Completed forms will have a green check mark. In this form, we'll enter department information and funding information. This form describes the scanner and additional services requested. CNDA is the most common data retrieval method for research studies. Here's where you add the individuals who will have access to the CNDA data repository.
be sure to click the green Save button. Clicking these toggles will allow iLab to historically track all subject names and information for this project. Here you can track specific protocol information for your project. If the protocol name is similar to the project name, you can simply click the blue text above the bar. Here you can attach any additional documents related to the project, including hard copy of the protocol, the consent form, or any approval documents. You can review what you've entered for your project request by clicking on the summary items to the left of the screen. When you are satisfied with what you've entered, be sure to hit the green submit button at the bottom of the screen. The project is now submitted and ready for CCIR for approval. During this process, you will see an orange or red triangle for your project. Once approved, a date will appear under the approved column. Here is an example of an approved project. Note the green checkmark box and the blue initiate schedule visit button. You will receive emails with any questions during your project approval process. Also, you will be notified when the project is finally approved.